Hello everyone, my name is Romat and today we're going to do a season 11 to Leah guide and I'm going to talk about items, what's changed, runes, what's changed and what's best for her. Specifically for her, we're not going to go over all the items and such because that would be other YouTubers. <laughs> we're going to discuss how to Leah is in season 11 and after this small tutorial in practice tool which might take from anywhere between 5 minutes to 20, depends on how much I have to talk about it, I'm not sure yet, uh, we're going to do highlights of a game, of a ranked game, probably flex or solo queue. If, if it makes me wait 10 minutes in solo queue I'm just gonna go for flex. I'm somewhere in Grandmaster at around 100 or so LP, that's where I finished the season. I will probably push for challenger in season 11 and today we're going to talk about uh, runes, items, uh, these main things because the rest of the stuff you got my Talia video in four minutes You got many videos on my channel that discuss abilities something that hasn't been changed You got videos that discuss combos you got videos that discuss roaming we haven't been we haven't changed on that a lot so um, We're gonna start with uh, items right now So uh, if you want to learn all of those other stuff, please refer to the respective videos you can find them on my channel now uh, before we start the actual presentation, I want you to go to your uh, league client and create some sort of item set like this, if you see it on the screen. Basically, I added here what I'm interested in only, but there are other options such as Leandris and Ludens for first item. And so, I just added the uh, mythic item that I wanted and the legendaries that I'm gonna buy or try. So if you find yourself stuck in searching for items, just add to your item sets here, make a quick item set with the items that you want on any champion basically, I just made one because I play mainly Tulia now, and look that's a bug, key unique group shot, what key unique, okay, they forgot that, you see it, <laughs> under magic penetration, anyway, so I'm gonna use Everfrost as a start, and uh, along these next weeks, if I dislike it somehow, but I adopt, we're going to switch to Ludens or Lyandris, but you're not stuck to play with Everfrost. Now, Everfrost is a new item which we're going to talk about in a second. Mainly, most of this first part will be about Everfrost, and we're going to discuss more. But first, make this thing, put your mythic item here, maybe more if you want, and then put Rabadon, Sork Shoes, Void Stuff, Cosmic Drive, Horizon Focus, Banshees, Veil, and Zonias, which are most items, most AP items, if I don't forget, maybe Mejais would be one. Um, that you're gonna want to pick in a game so possibly there are others which I forgot but generally my build will consist something like uh, Everfrost, Rabadon, Sork Shoes, Void Stuff, Cosmic Drive or, or Ivan Focus or something like that or Azonia somewhere in between. Now what I'll want to do obviously every game is to get my first mythic item. If you want to play with something else with another item with another mythic item you could go for something like Ludens or Leandris, but I really dislike them because now Everfrost has a root and this item actually goes through minions now and I really want to focus on it first and maybe we'll discuss in future videos the rest but basically changes to Ludens you get now some uh, movement speed you get some magic pen and uh, you lose uh, 10% cooldown reduction basically here because you got only 10 haste you had 20 before and what now you have Leandris as well which is pretty good against tanks you get 20% 20 ability haste and um, basically you get the Landry's passive but Everfrost now gives also HP which is insane on Trilia because you're gonna lack, uh, you're going to have an annoying lane against Yone, against uh, Zeds, against Katarina's Fizz and all of those nasty assassins and basically whenever I played Trilia in Grandmaster in past month against Yone for example I went GLP in Ruby Crystals because Ruby Crystals gave me the HP required to survive, I didn't go for Zonias because I, I really wanted the early Ruby Crystals on lane, so before GLP actually. And so now they integrated 200 HP into the Everfrost, which is quite interesting. Also the active you're going to see in a second, it's quite quite good. But let's just, um, let's just start the video with an ideal build that I would go in a normal game and we're going to discuss later. I'm still getting, uh, getting used to this, I'm sorry if I'm slow. Okay, now uh, let me talk about pricing uh, things. Something changed, GLP was 2,800 gold, now Everfrost is 314, Rabadon's uh, 3,014, sorry, and 400, Jesus, and now Rabadon's is 3,800 instead of 600, so you're going to pay 800 gold more for these two combinations. I tried to play with Everfrost into Cosmic Drive, <coughs> sorry, my 
I can't talk this much, <laughs> this fast. I tried to go for Everfrost and Structures into Cosmic Drive, but I realized even though you are a bit tankier and you have the movement speed and you have the extra ability haste, you lack damage. And you would want to go for Rabadon's second because Everfrost and Rabadon's into Structures, combination of those three, will give you the most damage and the most. Um, the fastest, highest damage that you could probably earn when you complete Rabados. And obviously if you're against four tanks, you can you could go for Lyandris, but in the context of a normal game, or most normal games where people don't actually stack magic resist, these three items will be a good start. But let's see exactly how I would start. Now let's see the uh, first item will be it's not here, okay. I'm, I'm, I sold everything, I'm still trying to learn. Okay, first item is a Dora Ring and two pots. We're going to start with this, right? So Doran Ring and two pots, not three. Jesus, I'm gonna sell one. Okay, then you go to mid. I'm not going for tier. I've seen there is a tier. I believe if you go for tier, you will have mana, but you will lack the extra ability power. You will lack the mana restore, and which you kind of have it. But the extra HP is really what you need in lane because you're going to struggle against things that can kill you pre six and even after. Now a good thing that Dark Seal has changed. But we're not going to talk about it. Yes, you can get Mijai in games where you uh, where you start building up uh, disadvantage, but you probably just want to start normally with a Doran's ring, as I did here. Then you want to go for the item six right here. You want to go for Lost Chapter. That would be your first item. You want to go for boots. Obviously, if you don't finish Lost Chapter first, you're gonna get Amplifying Tom Sapphire Crystal. You're gonna combine it. Then you're gonna get boots, and I want you to go for two three control words uh, as often as you can because. One, two control words because I tried that in ranks and if you check my history in ranks I, I buy now at least five to eight per game which is insane for me because I never done that and this actually has helped me climb without bullshit buying more vision words will also help you climb and you should remember that every time now uh, obviously you go for boots lost chapter boots you go for vision words but then you complete everfrost that would be a start you then I honestly here I don't even want to complete uh, Sork Shoes before Rabadons because it, it's just so expensive to get Rabadons. So I'm gonna get Rabadons, I'm gonna get Sork Shoes and the rest of the build I'm gonna sell post because we don't gonna use them now. The rest of the build is going to be quite uh, based on your choice. I, I think these three items will be the best as a starter but for after that I'm thinking something like uh, Zonia or an early Zonia obviously uh, but something like Cosmic Drive, Void Stuff and Zonia that would be my best in slot because this build gives actually everything that you want uh, Zonia gives you this puts you at 50, 50, 50, 55 55 <laughs> ability haste and this also gives you the Zonia, the Cosmic Drive active, the passive Magic Pen from Void Stuff but obviously there are other choices uh, but this would be an experimental build that I go for for starters. Now obviously uh, you don't necessarily have to go uh, this fast for either Everfrost or Rapidons. You could perhaps build uh, parts of Zonia because now it's cheaper to go for Banshees and it's cheaper to go for the Zonia. Basically you have this Verdant Barrier and this Seeker Arms Guard which will help you. This will help you get Fizz, Katarina, Slapbanks, uh, etc. Where is it? The here? And this will help you actually against the Zeds and such. Uh, they are cheaper now, as far as I've seen, and you will have more fun on lane <laughs> because of this. You'll survive more. So if you struggle, if you find yourself getting killed or has not really being able to survive a Fizz, I would personally go every single game against Fizz, for example, over the barrier early on. I won't go barrier because you lack damage, but I will go for this item. Anyway. You got a rough idea about the build, so we go forever first into uh, Rabadon's Sork Shoes, Cosmic Drive, uh, Void Stuff, and the Zonia Summon Drive. Maybe Zonia third after Rabadon's. Uh, but Void Stuff is based on needs, uh, Cosmic Drive is based on if you feel like you're not tanky enough or if you need movement speed or cooldown reduction. And Zonia is quite, quite, quite the best to actually use ultimate and jump into fights. And I got an AFK warning. Okay. Now. Let's talk about the Everfrost real quick and we're gonna move to runes. Everfrost is the GLP changed. Basically, it now goes through minions, as you can see here, and it roots at the center. This, I believe, it's an insane thing to use on lane because let's say you're against an Ahri, okay, you dodge the charm, you get close, you root and you kill. You get 
you get close to a Velkos, you get close to artillery, you just, you can just now ult on top of them guys, you can just ult on top of an artillery champion, instantly do, um, instantly do this and full combo, right, so let's just say this is a Velkos right here, it's somewhere there, okay, the combo would be ult, get close, press this and full combo, right, it's actually quite strong, also you can now proc that shield from the scuttle with your W, EQ combo, it changed to a shield. Now, I will go for Everfrost every game until I get the hang of it, and if I dislike it, I'll go for other items, but I believe this is the best in slot for you right now, because of a root. Not only that, you also have a 20 second cooldown only. 20 second cooldown, let me show you guys. That's very, very short, and... We're gonna discuss alongside runes as well, but uh, there is a rune that will help you get that cooldown even shorter, but I don't recommend to pick it, it's Ingenious Hunter. From the domination tree, we're not going to play with it for this game. If you want, you can try it, but I believe Ravenous will be stronger. What I want you to do though, is to practice this, practice this route, get used to it, cast it a hundred thousand times, but generally cast it before the combo. Also, this will help you in uh, niche spots, you have a vision ward here, the enemy comes, you're gonna cast on two players, bam, you got the combo, and if you root someone, it's impossible for them to escape. Only, the only thing you have to be careful about is the flash that's predicting it or the dashes from the other items that has been added. So, uh, you want to do this, you look how insane, Jesus, Jesus, it's so strong. I, I'm just a fan of it right now because Tilia lacked hard CC, incorporate hard CC for a while now and I think this is a very strong item. So, you're gonna practice it in practice, so I can't teach you to use this, so you're gonna try it on your own, you're gonna see in a game as well. It does take a lot longer to get it because it's 800 gold mod, as I said that GLP was 2800 gold and this one is 3400, but that's it, we're gonna make it because the root is worth it, I believe the root and the extra HP is worth the 800 gold and the minus cooldown reduction obviously, but we still get plus 15 AP per extra item so that's fine as well. Okay, so this is, this is the combo generally, you do that, full combo, you do that, full combo, you just gotta get used to the shorter range. So let's just say, uh, let's just say here is a champion between minions. You can't really cast it max range because he will likely dodge it. You have to get a bit closer and then cast it, right? To cast it through minions, you gotta get a bit closer and you gotta, you gotta practice the speed up of this, right? You gotta practice the speed up. You gotta cast it first from like this is like maybe the best range where you, where it passes a bit the champion, right? So you don't. I won't want to see you. I don't want to see you casting like this. Because the chances of you actually hitting are lower and lower because they will realize and back off. But if you position like such and you create some distance between, a small distance just between you and the target, you're gonna hit it most of the time. As you can see here, I'm really curious about testing this. Yeah, okay, you need to hit it better, I guess. Okay, so you gotta center it for the roots, let's see. Okay, root slow okay so can likely this is this is the difference between the routines so you can you can miss it a bit and it's still fine i'm not thinking i don't think that's rooted it yeah okay now nah, sometimes it will root it anyway anyway you get the point of it i'm gonna talk a bit about runes now you're going for electrocute you're going for taste of blood you're going for rival collection this hasn't changed you're going for uh something like Rune stats with 2 AP, 1 magic is maybe 1 attack speed if you lack at farming. And you go for Ravenous Hunter or Ingenious Hunter. I personally believe Ingenious Hunter is good because it will make this item 5 seconds at max stacks, uh, 15 seconds, sorry, it will be 5 seconds shorter. So on, you, you're gonna basically use it on every combo because this is going to be like 12 seconds, 13 seconds, something, 12 seconds, something like that, and this is going to be 15. If you play with Ingenious Hunter and it's max stack, you're going to be able to cast it every single bloody time. So that's nice. You can just wait two more seconds and you're gonna have it every single time you have your combo. But I like to play with Ravenous Hunter because 20 seconds is enough for me and you're gonna use it even with 20 seconds two times in a fight if it's a prolonged fight at least. So um, what you want in teamfights now is just to hit the root on someone, preferably this is your mid and one shot them and that would work best. Now you can set up your own CC and you have absolutely no excuses to meet your WQ combo if you set up your own CC. You don't rely on a malfight, you don't rely on someone else's CC. You can just position yourself to hit this. Okay, so we talked about runes. I play with Ravenous Hunter instead of Ingenious. <clears throat> and now you have another choice for secondary. You can either go Presence of Mind, which has, bit, it has been changed 
So it now has uh, mana on champion auto attack, mana regen, and also um, uh, you, it has less mana, 15% on takedown but you also can go for mana flow and transcendence transcendence basically says that at level 5 8 you get ability haste and at 11 <coughs> sorry too much talking at 11 you get uh champion takedown reduced to the remaining cooldown of basic abilities by 20. i personally still play with presence of mind but i this can be a pretty strong choice so mana flow and transcendence can be a pretty strong choice in fights uh combined with something like maybe dark harvest or you know what uh but yeah, I played with Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Mana Flow, Transcendence, uh, sorry, Presence of Mind, Cup the Grace, and these rune stats. Uh, but generally, these two uh, can be interchanged, you can practice, you can try. I'm not saying which one is the best because it's still early and you have to see which for yourself. Uh, same thing with Ingenious and Ravenous Hunter. I believe Ravenous is a bit better because of the heal, even though it got nerfed again. So we discussed, we discussed runes, we discussed builds. We discussed a bit how to use Everfrost, sorry for not being able to talk so much. <laughs> and now we can actually try to jump into a flex or solo queue, I'll try to queue for solo queue first. If it takes more than 5 minutes to put me in a game I'll just do flex because it's 1 minute or something. And we're gonna play Talia on mid and Talia and we're going to see how she fares against some champions. I believe the Everfrost and basically the same runes besides that. it's quite strong and you can create some really nasty stuff so I'm gonna exit this and see you into the game right now guys just give me a second so here we are in the game now whenever the game starts please don't afk I afk now because uh, it takes time to set up the OBS but I queued for um, solo queue I waited 10 minutes no I waited six minutes I got in the game well in the champ select I got matched on top because IQ has mid top and so I dodged and then I've seen that the next queue timer was 8 minutes estimated to get mid and so I went for flex and that was 1 minute and now I'm here. Now whenever you start the game you position yourself here please if you don't invade then just wait for someone to come and back off on throw a queue maybe. Now we're going to play as I said with the Everfrost with the Sork Shoes stuff we're going to be against I must against against no one <laughs> going to be against a Nunu that just went AFK, a Twisted Fate that just used Teleport. I'm confused. And who plays Twisted Fate with Teleport, man? Yeah, I missed two CS already. I'm really not in the mood of playing live Well, recording myself. I'm not used to it anymore. Okay, I'm gonna try to proc Electrocute here. Exactly. Gonna do a full Q. I'm gonna lose some CS, just ignore it please, I lost, Jesus, 6 CS. Normally, if it would be solo queue, I'd probably play a little bit more aggressive, but a uh, little bit more smart. But because I try to talk, I tend to screw my farm up and stuff like that. Now, uh, now I'm going, as I said, forever frost, I'm going to see if this item will help us. I'm gonna push constantly, and I'm gonna try to outroam this guy. Man, I'm tired. Okay, I suppose I also gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut the video in more pieces, man I'm not used to, but did someone change the CS, what is this, I farm like crap, oops, I'm gonna find the list in here, I'm gonna cast ignite, okay, and I'm gonna die to the twist of fate, likely. Yep. I misplayed it, but I got the kill, so it's fine. I'm gonna go for boots. And as I told you, we go for Everfrost and get this. Now Nuno has time to. What? Probably dived. Nuno has time to farm. And I have time to back off to lane. I'm gonna ping. This guy has no flash. Generally, when I'm on lane, I farm with Q. And then I try to use an E at level 2 to hard push. So uh, we try to push the wave to this tower so we can go in ward and then we're gonna play around what's, uh, what's left and we're gonna get the CS and stuff like that. Okay, that guy hinted. Gonna do a full combo here. And a Q. Okay, he didn't back off. I'm thinking that he used flash so that we get ganks but uh, apparently he full clears as Nunu which is an odd thing. Because with Nuno you'd probably want a lot of ganks early on. 
And also, if you know someone has no flash, that's it's, that's even a simpler tank. And I'm gonna back off here, don't poke the bit. Only thing that he's missing, so he's gonna be careful here, hopefully. One more. Okay. Coming, 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 coming. Okay, gonna miss the. Oh no, they're losing this because they're not gonna as well here. Why are you pinging me? Alright, I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna throw a full kill. Come on, hit it if you want, I don't care. And now, if I hit the full combo here, likely I will. Okay, uh, it's flex. That's why it's so simple for me. And I got the free kill there. Uh, we shouldn't have gone that far because of the. Uh, Chogat being first, so we it there. I also didn't focus my combo, I missed it and Nunu died, but I kind of got back from that. Okay, we start to farm better now, also he is going to lose a lot. We're gonna look for a clearance uh, of this, we're gonna do that and gonna check for the scenes. I'm gonna go here, because... Okay, this is a free kill. No longer, because I missed that, but you could probably go for this. What are you doing? I'm gonna get that plant, and I don't really have that much mana, so I'm just gonna help him how I can. I mean, I could go back now to mid, because there is a cannon. I also didn't get this. Doing lots of uh, misplaced things, lots of uh, moments in which I'm not focused can be assessed to the fact that I already worked 9 hours today on this PC on, well, on the work PC okay, this should be free thank you Mr. Nunu gonna get some mana back and I'm gonna start to check for the gold on that to get the tome gonna do a full combo, oops don't have mana for the full combo, my bad alright, as I said I told you tired but still I can push this Okay, gonna cast the full Q here. We see, we see the Lysin. He's coming towards mid. Uh, he's there, but uh, it's fine. We could probably get the plate here. Okay, this guy is getting a kill here. No, no, okay. So I'm going back off. This is a reset wave. He will push into the tower, but I could actually stay and get more. I don't care though. I want to back off for the tome and a blasting wand so i'm gonna get both also potion okay we have boots i'm gonna get vision words gonna start to boom farm that vision words up and i'm gonna try to get more kills i'm gonna do the ever frostingy i'm gonna try to cast alt into e into ever frost into w uh i'm saying this order yeah i should have think that's going to alt my bad i'm saying it in this order because uh it's interesting to note that you can actually E before if you know he's not gonna flash. Now there is a Tiffy ult that just went by, so... Normally I would get a vision word or a red trinket so I could go around here. Because I'm tired obviously I didn't. And we could just go around, we could wait for the minions. Alright, and now we could... We could perhaps just... Them. They have no idea that we are here. Alright, got the Caitlyn, got the Nunu. That's simple as it is. Gonna steal a plate here. Partial gold. Well, lost some CS, but as you can see, he's still behind in CS. I'm gonna cast the Q here to check. Likely, Lysin is not here. Normally, I would have a vision word. If I wouldn't be playing at this late hour anyway, let's just throw a combo here, get that. I'm gonna keep the Q for the cannon. I'm gonna auto pack this. I'm not going to bother with anything else. Okay, gonna use the potion. Okay, now what we have to be careful about is the fact that there might be an insect from Lysin into a pool. Stun from the Twisted Fate, so but yeah, we see we 
you see that happening there. Okay, so for Everfrost, I already, I already have Everfrost. Okay, we see this in here. Perhaps if you can root him as well. Okay. You wanna flash for it? I didn't want to flash for it early. I really didn't want to. Okay, come here. Man. Into that one. And I suppose I could go here. Hopefully I'm not gonna die from this tower shot. <laughs> I died from that tower shot. <laughs> okay, I'm trolling. I'm partially trolling. I don't care though. Uh, it's fine. As long as we're winning, it's sort of fine. Okay, so we got for the we got the first item, which is Everfrost. We're gonna go for two Vision Words, a potion. We're gonna move the Everfrost first, two Vision Words second, and the potion third. I would go for the red trinket because my jungler does not, but I'm just gonna use vision words for now. Normally, I, my, vision, my, my jungler should have gone already for that. What are they doing? Why is their bot lane dying with this two spade ganking? Man, that's just bad. All right, we can we can use now the ult into Everfrost combo on top of Twisted Fate, on top of Caitlyn, on top of even Set if we're greedy. I don't think we should go that far. Now I could go here. What is this item? Dash draw. Okay. It has extra setup, apparently. I'm just gonna get the plate. I'm just gonna get the plate. I'm gonna use there. Should be fine. Oh my god, the attack. I'm gonna cast this here, so extra push health. And we're going probably. Okay, we're not going here on top. Also, do I need to double? I don't want to go there. I want to get plates. I already have seven plates. It's probably going to one versus two then. No, not. <laughs> now, I enjoy when the game goes a little bit longer because this will just mean that I have time to uh, understand better ever for us then. I'm gonna get this. I also see the set coming or moving towards top. We should get. We should probably get the Drake as well. Alright. Now I have parts of. Uh, what is this item? Use? I have parts of Rabados as well. I have the gold for that. And. Ah, uh, this is so free, man. Why are they doing? Why are they like this? What is Set doing? You're not allowed to die there. Okay. This is broken. This is so broken, man. What? I can just get in range of an ADC and kill him? Unless he's like flashing my Everfrost and maybe outplays me, but... Oh, my boy. How about dying too? Look at that root! It's my root who saved you! What? Insane! No, I'm not gonna title the video Insane Item Jesus Christ the Roots, even though I am practically winning against Platinums or something. Although my top laner is Grandmaster on solo queue as well, so I'm not sure that this hello. Although it's not against bronzes, even though I could name my videos like that. But yeah, we can we could probably get here another plate which is for free i'm thinking there is going to be some follow-up from twisted fate maybe or not i don't see it i also have two i also have two let large words already available so if you snowball on talia with everfrost you are in for a good time okay seeing the trigger what sort of item what that's not my speed item and this is the old uh, Remember the name, but yeah, that item. I wanna do the combo with potting on top of him. I really do. So I'm just gonna go for two Rapidon parts. One. Why I can't buy it? I, I bought it. Okay. And yeah, uh, my bot lane is uh, winning already. 
You don't, you don't gang them now, man. You gang the fuck with them. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna even ping the Sister Fade, even though he's probably going on top. Yeah, it's already a full as well. So I'm gonna do a full combo, they're probably going to surrender at 15. With one more minute and we can test the... Oh, the cannon. We can test the uh, one-shot potential. So I have a vision over here, which is for a long time already. Odd. I'm just gonna position myself here, because he's obviously going to come. And bam, he's... Jesus, this is insanely easy. It's painfully easy. Now I can just go here and clear them out. Okay. Can't clear both. Actually. Oh no. <laughs> no more minions. No, why didn't he spawn? Although, this vision word did this part. Uh, the logic is, for every vision word that you place, you could actually get a kill because you created a spot where you surely don't have vision and also that the spot that which from, from which you can actually do your combo. So, vision words are creating this one-shot potential for you, which is especially what you need in this kind of situations. He did move from there, he's still in that bush. He's still in that freaking bush, man. How did you miss that? that wasn't that much. Yeah, you're, you're, you're coming? <laughs> and that's, that's what you play? Okay, I'm going in. I like to miss the kills though. Okay, so we have Rabadons. And probably a KT will stop me anytime now. Oh no! It's a Caitlyn ult! To the base! Ah! She didn't got hit by it, damn it. Okay, I didn't put vision words, I should have put there and. He's still, I think he's still out. Ah! He's playing with Everfrost! <laughs> Jesus, if you turned around, you would have probably killed one. Okay. Alright, so this is insanely fun, to be honest. I think I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, actually, I can do it in solo queue as well. Like, getting the insane advantage with this. Also, I'm gonna put the vision word here. Gonna... Oh. Okay, man. You're still... What? Why? I held them. I helped them as well. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't ride the wall. I think I got some after damage. What are you doing? Why are you coming into melee range? Yeah, now we have an actual... Uh, an actual fight, an actual turnaround from the melee range with the root. Because some champions would just stick to us and would flash our combo. Now if you hit the root you're sure that we're going to cast the W away. Do I think on top lane now this item is actually even better than... Because GLP wouldn't stop the Jax from melting your face, but this item might just... It's gonna go here, they likely don't have words. So we're just gonna wait. And they are chasing the lane, obviously. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Coming. Coming. Gonna take it a bit longer to get him, but we're getting him. Is he having multi hits or what? Why is he so fast? Oh, I don't have woods. Right. Wow. Okay. 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 You have no chance, buddy. Okay. Do you have any chances now? Because I. <laughs> this is fun. Also gonna get this. Yeah, the movement speed is required from the boots, but going Rabadons is insane fun. And then every single item you get after that is gonna increase this 
because of the passive from Everfrost. So plus 15. Okay, they surrender. Look, look at this. Look at this. See? You get the shield off. Anyway, that was the game. Uh, I wanted to cut the video to, to highlights, but the, basically the whole video is a highlight. I'm not sure. Even though I started with level 1, like, uh, I'm grumpy, I'm tired, I can't hit the minions if I'm tired. Uh, but yeah, I guess this worked and this was the game guys and I really hope you enjoyed the fact that I started making videos again and if you have any suggestions, obviously as usual. Also you can join our Discord, we're uh, more people than ever, we're having Discord ranks, Discord ranks for Talia which is nice and yeah, basically if you have uh, 50k points, 100k points. A million points you get a special discord rank which is pretty beautiful we do have some a million points guys which i <laughs> enjoy that we have them so yeah <coughs> we also did pickems by the way i forgot to tell you on discord and i lost horribly <laughs> i'm not good at that see you next time guys and have a nice day or night wherever you are and some more videos i guess maybe gonna make some pantheon videos as well because new items, uh, but we have focused content mainly. Let's try to raise challenger this season, and each of us let's try to get above our elo. Let's try to increase our play, our knowledge, and to be better overall and even better for ourselves. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.